Hello guys, I'm Zaki. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how voice interaction prototype can be done on Arobe XD. Let's start today's tutorial. On the top navigation bar on Arobe XD, you will find the prototype option. Click on it. On the right side, you will see the interaction panel in disabled state. To activate this interaction panel, you have to select one of the artboard here. And you will find a blue color trigger icon and drag it and place it on screen 2 to activate your interaction panel. Then you can see in the options here, click on the trigger option, you will find the voice interaction at the bottom. Let's choose that. Now you can see the command line here, you have to give one command line to interact from screen 1 to screen 2. Let me give a small command here, like hello xt, perfect. On the type of action, I want to make it a transition instead of auto animate and my destination to listening screen. The one first screen is the interaction screen and my second screen is the listening screen and the animation I'll turn into disable itself and I'll give it easing to easing out and the duration to 0.2 seconds. So let me check whether my trigger will work or not. If you see on the top right you will find a play button which previews your prototype. Let's click on it. Here is your preview mode of your prototype. To activate the voice command interaction, you have to press the space key on the keyboard. Let's do that and give your command. Hello XD. Perfect. So now our voice interaction is working on our XD prototype. Let's close this. Here from listening screen to I have to go home screen. Let's do that. Drag this icon, drop it home screen. Give a command, show home. Okay, then from my home screen, I want to open my hamburger menu. Let's go to design ones. So I have already done my light theme here. So let's add this overlay screen onto my overlay menu so that when I give a command line to my hamburger, my, op my overlay screen will appear on my overlay menu. Let's copy it, right click on your artboard, select the copy option. Go to overlay menu artboard, right click on it and click on paste. Perfect. Now go to your prototype, click on the hamburger, drag this trigger to your overlay menu, then give a command line to your hamburger. Open menu. I want to give a short command line for it. Open menu. Cool. From overlay menu, I want to get back to my home screen. So how can we add the command line for my overlay menu? So I'll click on the cancel icon. So there is a trigger generator. Let's click on it. Drag it to the home screen. And give a command line like close menu. So this command line will close our menu, overlay menu. So my transition to Type is a transition and my destination to home screen perfect and an animation to I want to add some animation so let's click on slide right perfect then my easing is easing and out and duration is 0 0.5 seconds let's go to home screen uh, once click on the hamburger so here the I want to change this animation from dissolve to slide right slide right yes let's let's check whether it's working or not let's go back to interaction screen go to design then click on your play button then your preview will appear here let's press the space key on your keyboard let's give the command lines hello xd show home page open menu Close menu. Perfect. And if you see, the, there is an uh, a animation issue here. When I am clicking, when I am giving a command on hamburger, my animation is sliding towards right because uh, the panel is towards left. So that has to be overlay on my screen. Uh, let me click on this overlay menu 
let me change the animation command line from slide right to slide left let's see what happens now click on the home screen give a command line open menu close menu perfect so previously what happened is like the sliding option is coming from right to left so i have changed from left to right here i want to turn this uh, light theme into dark theme let's do that go to designs here we have a dark theme screen let's do the same thing what i have done for the light theme let's click on the overlay dark theme right click on it copy and click on the overlay in dark theme and right click here a paste the overlay screen dark theme here perfect now go to your prototype and click on the light theme home screen and drag this trigger to your home screen dark theme and here you have to give one command line to activate this let's give a command line dark theme perfect then for my hamburger menu i am going to give another command for it so this here or oh, already taken the command line from the previous uh, light theme we'll make the same whatever we have given for the light theme perfect and the transition to transition itself and the destination to the new dark theme here on the animation i want to add it to this light right perfect and then click on the overlay menu dark so from overlay menu dark we have to go back to the home screen on the dark home screen let's click on the cancel icon here perfect and drag it to the home screen dark theme then you have to give a command line like close menu cool and my action type is transition and my destination back to home screen here on the animation i want to add it to slide left perfect and easing to easing out and division to 0.2 seconds perfect so from my dark theme i want to go back to my light theme let's do that here you can see the blue color trigger icon let's drag back to the home screen then you have to give a small command like light theme perfect uh maximum will transition I just need to home screen uh, from slide left i want to add it to dissolve and raising in out i'm curious to 0.5 seconds let's see how our prototype works in the preview mode let's go to designs click on the interaction screen you go to your play button click on it then your preview will appear here let me press the space key on the keyboard and give my command lines Hello XD. Open home page. Open menu. Close menu. Show me the dark theme. Open menu. Close menu. Show me the light theme. Perfect. This is how the voice interaction prototype works on Adobe XD. You can download this voice interaction file on my YouTube channel. And also you can practice the other interactions as well. If you see on the trigger you will you you can see the tap, drag and time. In my upcoming tutorials I am going to show you how the trigger will work on tap, drag and time as well. And thanks for watching this tutorial. subscribe my channel and like I hope this voice interaction prototype will helpful for you. If you want more interaction designs from Adobe XD, please do let me know on the comment section.
and do subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thanks for watching.